Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is another video that I need to redo. And um, it's about the battle.net launcher. Wild, isn't it? A lot of things have changed in Heroic since the last video, and I like to keep my videos up to date, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to get a comment on my desktop environment, because that's what I'm going to call it. This is entirely made from Quickshell, QML, and it uses Hyperlint. Now you know. The doc, Quickshell. The top bar, Quickshell. The widgets, all Quickshell. Everything in here is made entirely from Quickshell as an entire entity in its own. All right? Great. Moving on. So, <clears throat> first thing we got to do is download the Blizzard launcher. And uh, Battle.net launcher, whatever. Point is, we got to download it. And then we're going to go to add game. Uh, we're no, we're not going to go to add game instead. We're going to go to settings advanced and we're going to enable allow using Vulcan proton builds to run games. And the reason we do this is so we can use them to run games. Yeah, we're going to enter battle.net just like that. It's going to update the picture. We are going to select Proton GE. This is the one I recommend using for any installation of any program whatsoever. Uh, then we are going to select the Battle.net executable. Okay, I just did that on the side. Uh, those are my downloads, not yours. And I don't know if I have anything illegal in there. And if I do, well, you don't get to see it. So we're going to choose English. And... Normally, these days, with Lutris or anything else, it stops at 45%, but with Heroic, eh, believe it or not, after a few seconds, it's done. And hit continue. And it's going to do its thing, just like always. And once it's done installing, uh, it's going to hopefully start up. And you'll see that it works. But don't log in. Not yet. Just wait. We got some other stuff to do. Mwahahaha. All right, so now that it's finished, hopefully it will execute. Perfect. It will automatically launch itself. And we're going to just click this. We're going to wait till these turn colored. Any day now. And we're going to select where it installed. And it's still, unfortunately, a 32-bit program. Now you can install this. You can use this one or this one. I end up using this one because it's bigger. We're going to hit finish. And once it's done, I'm going to introduce you to the new options that are within here so that you're able to deal with things. So this allows you to use Wine Wayland with it. I'm not sure if it uses it or not. This allows you to use WoW 64s. So this is Wine 64. It's experimental. If we go in here, if you want to see your FPS, you have Mango Hut. And, well, for the rest of it, this is where any of your variables will go, okay? So any proton-like flags will go in here. Other than that, when we hit play, lo and behold, hopefully, by all means, it should end up showing up and allowing you to log in. And that is it. This is the entire video. Nice, short, and to the point. And if you appreciate that, subscribe. It means a lot to me. Leave a nice comment. Helps me with the evil AI algorithm. Don't forget to like the video. And if you really want to support the channel, you could do so by becoming a member on YouTube. Bye, everybody.